Hello and welcome to Coder Scholar. My name is Sunny Solanki, and in today's video, I will be explaining how to create event plot using Python Data Visualization Library Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample event plot to show how the event plot looks. So event plots are generally used to represent events that have happened over time. To explain with simple example, let's say that you want to see earthquakes that has happened in the last century in last 100 years. Or you want to see hurricanes that have happened in last 100 years. And whenever earthquakes or hurricane has happened and that will be represented with a line. So yeah, th that is the common use case scenarios of event plots. They can be used to analyze patterns which has happened over time and we can represent more than one events in the same chart so that's one benefit so let's get started with the coding part so first of all i have imported a matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system so it is the latest and stable version then i have imported a numpy as well because we will be creating arrays using numpy so let's go ahead and create our first event plot chart so over here i have created a variable name major releases which represent a major releases of one particular project let's say and i am selecting random 30 numbers in the range 0 to 365 so there will be 30 major releases uh, uh, per year and 0 to 365 represents one year so over here i have executed that cell and now we have a 30 numbers so we will these major releases will be events of our chart and we will create event chart of uh, major releases so let's do that so first of all i will import pyplot api of matplotlib as we will be creating charts using pyplot api then i will create a figure object i will set figure size to 12 by 7 and in order to create event plot there is a method name event plot and the first parameter to this method is positions which accepts list of lists so in our case uh, it's a major releases so that's it i think we are done with our our uh, event plot chart so i will set x label to days of year and let me set chart title as well i will say project release project releases and say location to left padding of 20 pixel font size of 30 want to weight of bold so let me execute this cell and there is a minor mistake in positions spelling so let me execute this one and as you can see we have our uh, event plot ready so here we are representing only single event which is major releases but as I said at the beginning, we can represent more than one events. So now this chart looks quite basic. So let's improve the look of the chart by introducing theme. So I will be using 538 theme, which is a famous theme. I will, uh, and it's based on a 538 blog. And you can use the theme using plt.style.use method. So let me execute this cell. Yeah, so as you can see now the chart looks uh, quite better so what i will do is that let's move on to next chart so in our first chart we just uh, introduce uh, event plot with one event happening over time but there can be scenarios where there are more than one events happening so over here i have created uh, three three lists using numpy random dot rand int method and first is major releases like earlier second is minor releases and the third one is patches which has happened over time 
so how can we represent more than one lines so we can give major releases minor releases all this uh, list to positions parameter then we can say like what is the line width let's say i want line width to be 2 1 and 0 0.5 then i can say line offsets which is the y coordinates where you want lines to appear so i don't want to overlap lines as of now so i will say 1 5 and 7 and then there is a parameter named line length which is length of line so i will set it to let's say one is three length second is two and third is one and we can also set colors of lines so i will set colors to let's say tomato lime then dodger blue so let me execute this cell and now show you the how the modified chart looks so first of all i will need to execute this cell and create this list and as you can see now we have our second chart ready so as you can see here we are representing three events so the tomato one is major releases lime one is minor releases and uh, dodger blue color lines are patches okay so let's move on as you can see we can represent more than one events in the same chart now there can be scenario where you want to represent uh, few events on this on the same line so let's say that i want to introduce emergencies release and i want to represent it at the same location where this uh, patches are represented so let's do that i have copied our previous code and i will copy emergency patches over here let's say line offsets will be same because we want patches and emergency releases on this same y coordinate line width i will set same 0 0.5 and line lengths also will be same one let's give it purple color okay so let me execute this cell and show you how it looks now so as you can see now we can see that uh, patches and emergency releases are represented in the same line so okay so let's move on now other than representing these lines you can also uh, specify line styles so let's say that uh, there is a parameter named line styles which accepts list of strings so let's say that for tomato you want solid line which is currently there then for uh, minor releases you want dashed line and for uh, patches you want dotted line for emergency release you want dash and dotted so let's execute this cell so as you can see now we have specified line styles as well okay so let's move on and introduce one last important parameter of uh, event plot method so i have copied our previous code now as you can see that uh, all of these uh, previous lines or all of these previous events so all of them are horizontal now you might want a vertical orientation so there is a parameter name orientation which you can set to vertical and with that change we can create our uh, horizontal uh, event plot to vertical one which we have done over here as you can see and instead of x label now this one will be y label so yeah that's it as you can see we have created our vertical event plot chart so the choice is up to you whether you want to see lines horizontally or vertically however you feel comfortable so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial we covered how you can create event plot using python data visualization library matplotlib and the useful method provided by pyplot api is event plot that can be used to create event plots 
so that's it for today's tutorial uh, if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time